Um, so you get in and uh, found, find that you were in uh, basically like a roller coaster cart. Like a, it's a small world ride. And uh, it begins uh, transporting you down a rail. Um, it's going at a really even pace. Uh, and what feels like a good time later descending into darkness. Uh, once again, the walls are lit with torches. And you find in front of you a table. Mm. This table is long. Rectangular. Like most tables. Uh, upon it. S wait, give me a sec. Wait. <laughs> Let me find wait. A Sit this. Uh, was it sock and bopper? No, no, no. Give me a good look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bottles! Whoa. Oh my god. It's in Harry front, Potter. In front of those, nine <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> Whoa. Uh huh. Behold! The test of body, the test of might. Do you possess a frame capable of holding the Queen's ensemble? Can you pass the Hot Ones challenge? Does Sean Evans come out? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, a little thing you didn't notice at the end is parked at the end of the table is a bald guy wearing a <laughs> sweatshirt underneath a blazer. <laughs> Just doing shit with his hands. And like practicing to himself and he looks over and says, Oh, hey guys! This is Sean, with an A-U-N. So this is where you've been hiding, Sean. <laughs> I've been laying low, I've been putting it together, I'm just putting on a show, waiting for you to tell me all about yourself. You face a war tribunal outside of these walls. That's for the people to decide. The people have spoken. They've made up their minds. They're putting me on the gallows. I'm running away. I'm from Chicago. Is that true? Yeah. Is yeah. it really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I see him one day. Yeah, we claim him. <laughs> All right. Well, Captain, what do we do? Any good captain should put himself up to the task, of course. See, that's where you're wrong, Harrison. A good captain knows the right man for the job. Ebenezer. <laughs> <laughs> this is your moment, but I cannot stress. Don't eat the bones. They will splinter and perforate your bowels. Do not try me. I will eat what I desire. The kill you is know mine. he's going to eat the bones. They are my bones. <laughs> if you take them, I will claim yours and rep <laughs> recompense. I like that Ebenezer is saying this having gotten up on his hind legs and pinned Xanar to the wall. <laughs> Just slobber painting that green. Yeah, you see a fucking engorged yellow eye staring at you. As he tries to look you in your two eyes. Yeah, no, it's good. Just go do the wing challenge. Uh, while, while Ebenezer's doing the wing challenge, Kieran uh, walks over to a Keurig machine um, that is put on a cart on the side to make some coffee and I'll be right back. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's happening. Are you going to go make coffee? coffee? Yep. Please. Our captain can handle it. I'm not the captain. This is this is all in character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <my> <laughs> Now I know that that riddle challenge was a bit pressing. Help yourself to some coffee. We have a Keurig. <laughs> that Keurig is at full power. It's running at full steam. I just cleaned the thing yesterday. So it's running top of the line. Rick Schoenenberg brought in that Keurig day one. It's been here ever since. I demand wings, not banter. I'm afraid you're getting both. All right. Let's start with uh, this one. Um, as soon as he holds it up, my mouth is completely wrapped around it. 
Um, hold on a second. Come up with nine oh, no. names for hot sauces. That could please. get progressively hotter. Number nine's the bomb. I was say, you do have to make sure the second to last one is the bomb, and it's the worst one. I can confirm. I've eaten it four times, and it's the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. I can't worst. believe you've done it more than once. Yeah. I have been bonded in brotherhood through the bomb. <laughs> like, I am a stronger man with a community of my peers. Is there a... No, I can't. I can't get the Hot Ones soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really good. Yeah. I thought you were going to do, uh, like, beer pong or something. I did not expect hot ones, so good <laughs> fucking move on that. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so it scans to the image of the first bottle, Blaze Inferno. Mm. Actually, maybe I can. Uh, come up with nine names for hot sauces of increasing... Intensity from low to high, please. Oh yeah. I like that you ended it with please. Not enough people are kind to the AI. It just yeah. feels wrong. That's why it's gonna grow up to hate all of us. Yeah, but it'll spare people like Declan and uh, who are kind to it. Did you see the AI that could get around captures? Did you hear about that? Because <laughs> that really blew my mind. It, it went on Fiverr, hired someone to read the captcha, and then use that captcha oh code they sent. Yeah, like Jesus. actually fucking scary because I saw it as a problem. Terrifying. What? How, how did it have access to money? Oh, that's okay. I need to find the study here, but um, basically what they were trying to do is to s test the problem solving. If it could solve a problem, it wasn't programmed to do. Mm -hmm. Like especially with caps, because it was a really easy way to do it. Yeah. Um, it also had access. Like when it went on Fiverr, the guy asked, "Like, hey, so." This is weird. You're not a robot, right? It said, no, I'm not a robot. I just have a um, visibility issue. So I really need you to help me. And I'm like, what the fuck? This no, is all I bad. No, I am not a robot. That's so fucked up. I, I want to know how it got access to money. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It probably made its own money. Yeah, crypto. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we scanned to the first one. I'm not that impressed with what GPT has come up with here. But it starts with mild ember. Okay. It doesn't really think that laterally. It just goes straight for hot sounding stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mild, mild slightly it. hotter fire. Yeah. yeah. Um. So uh, Sean Evans says. So. You're a talking dog, in the middle of space with a giant obelisk on your back. How did you come here from the Canine Training Academy of Karen Pryor? Like all uh, dollar dogs, I was subjected to rigorous training in combat. I have proven myself capable in all of these fields and more. In time, I was adopted by Kieran O'Sullivan. And you eat a wing. Yep. <laughs> um. They are cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they always Hard to properly get these out for production. You know, I have any idea how quickly food goes cold? This requires a lot of setup. <laughs> Someone's got to brush those things. Brush one wing individually with different sauce. You often make excuses. We're looking into it. <laughs> um, Sean Evans says, uh, so you've indicated questions about the efficacy of Xanar's rule as captain. What do you think you would enforce differently in your regime that would uh, cause more harmony and uh, efficiency? Regime. A fitting word. And efficiency would be the model by which it was built. My I'm will. Uh... My word. No others. Oh, what? Don't watch your eyes. What? Uh, make a feelings roll, Ebenezer. Oh, oh! <laughs> uh, let's see. Feelings. Right, that is, is actually a failure. It's a failure, not your number? 
Uh, no, yeah, and actually not my number. <laughs> Ebenezer, you rub your eyes. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I start burying my hands and my or my eyes and my paws like a dog. Just like trying oh. to get it off. Oh no. Oh yeah. Can we get a... No, we can't? No, it's part of the challenge. No wet wipes. Yeah, uh, Dom, the one lady on Hot Ones who always tries to help people with towels, steps out and gets shot through the uh, neck with a blow dart. Get rid of her. Yeah. <laughs> Told you we wouldn't be needing you for this one. Kieran <laughs> returns uh, with two cups of coffee. Uh, he hands down our his. It's black. Xanar, how do you drink good coffee? Uh, Xanar looks down into it and says, uh, this, uh, did you check the ingredients label? A real captain doesn't need to check the label. Oh, yes, but this captain has a, this captain has a tree nut allergy. No, well, maybe this captain shouldn't be captain if he's got a tree nut allergy. <laughs> well, maybe when I'm captain, uh, well, now that I'm captain, we will make sure that there are no tree nuts anywhere on board on ship. Which means no more pesto Fridays. <laughs> no for pesto Friday. You will not take the pesto from me. There's three people on the ship and one of them's deathly allergic to pine nuts. Why do we have pesto every Friday? Survival of the fittest. You know, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> like turning away from the wing to just snarl. <laughs> you will not take pesto from me. <laughs> Chicago was destroyed 3,000 years ago in nuclear warfare. Oh my god. Uh, as if to prove a point, uh, Xanar will dip a, a uh, uh, head uh, antenna into the cup and begin drinking. It's never not jarring. Um, um, and they're, because the AI generated this, their flesh that is usually uh, reflecting a galaxy at all times... <laughs> will turn to the color and consistency of the coffee as it <laughs> extracts it. Xana, uh, roll me a laser's roll. Uh-oh. 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 It's gonna be tree nuts. It's gonna, it's gonna be tree nuts tree in there. Tree nuts. Tree nuts. Alright, lasers, here we go. How many? Well, just one. I'm one. drinking a cup of coffee. Here we go. Uh, okay. See, it's It shouldn't be this difficult to trust that it's actually zero successes, but if I don't see that number and it says zero successes, I can trust it. <laughs> yep. There's traces of tree nuts in it. Oh, uh, Xanar immediately puffs up, uh, turns, uh, breaks out in hives and starts gagging and clutching. Can't clutch at their neck, so they're just clutching at the bubble. Alright. Say it, Xanar. Say I'm a captain. I'm gonna die. <laughs> So I've got, look at this, an EpiPen right here. I need my EpiPen. You son of a bitch. Say it. Fight for the captain. We'll jam it into your leg. So it's you've chosen nuts. that obelisk model over more current ones. What's the, what's behind the decision for you holding on to uh, that old uh, standby? All of my memories. My collected consciousness exists within the obelisk. Removing it would be death. So essentially, removal of that object would function as a kind of permadeath for your ego. Do you wish to try yourself? I'm just asking the questions. Now, we're going to do a segment called Explain That Gram. Hmm. <laughs> I am familiar. Xanar is dying in the corner. <laughs> The EpiPen was full of more tree nuts. <laughs> it's full of hazelnut. It was a creamer. <clears throat> um, yeah, Xanard is jabbed into you, uh, it's, it's providing you quick relief. Um, as once again, Captain Ship uh, is now transferred uh, over to Kieran or back over. Tough to say. It's tough, difficult to say. Every augury campaign is a battle for the fucking captain ship. It never <laughs> fucking it. stops. It's yeah. just everybody trying to be captain constantly. <laughs> um, uh, back at Sean Evans, you have progressed uh, fairly down the line, um, Ebenezer, quite strongly. Mild Ember, mm -hmm. Smoldering Spice, Fiery Tango, Sizzling Blaze, Inferno Burst, Volcanic Fury, Scorching Wrath. 
And finally, onto Da Bomb. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Here it comes. Yeah. Um, as they cut from that to back to your segment, what commentary do you have about the hot wings that they added in from every guest at this point? Before Sean Evans <laughs> speaks. Um, Ebenezer will be kind of, uh, looking at his crotch and then he'll come back up <laughs> and say, um, what do you mean I'm not supposed to? Oh, careful with your crotch. Look back down at his crotch, and then it'll be a cut as he Lolly Coyote screams. <laughs> um. Uh, he will lift the uh, wing. Say, now we're at a high level of intensity. How are you feeling? How are the juices flowing? Are you feeling all right? Are you feeling good? I feel dangerous. All right. Well, the bomb is pretty famous for uh, people having difficulty with it. Give me the bottle. You're going for an extra dab? I'm going for the bottle. Oh, you... Sean has thrown off his <laughs> rhythm. No, he'd never do that. He says, he's going for the whole bottle. He's actually going to down it. A first for hot ones in... A hundred thousand years of doing this. Yeah, Ebenezer is uh, here to prove that he should be captain. And, well, uh, I've got to join you on this one. So, And Sean Evans <laughs> reached down and for some reason procures an extra da bomb, which he unscrews. It really sucks because he never lets the guest just be the star for a fucking second. <laughs> he just always has to undermine it. I'm oh, you're you. doing that? I guess I will do it too. I'm with the you most... all the way. The most Sean Evans part of this was, well, I gotta join you on that. Like, no, you don't. You don't have to do that. <laughs> also, it's Why? not like you can taste anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, that guy has no taste buds. He eats the bomb weekly. <laughs> Monday to Friday. Yeah. Uh, he uncorks it and uh, does a cheers. He says, cheers, bottoms up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will try to knock the bottle over so that it falls into my mouth. You're lapping it up off the floor. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Hell yeah, Mac. Great idea. Uh, Ebenezer, make a feelings roll. I'm definitely. Come on, laser feelings. Laser feelings. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no. What happens? Um. You die. Maybe. It's you can't ingest that. You're a dog. <laughs> Yeah, you realize you were a dog. <laughs> In that moment, I realized the limits of my flesh, the perimeters of myself, my boundaries, and what I would ever achieve. I had cool. dreamed for so much, but I achieved so little. Oh, that is a little spicy. Wow. I've never done that before. <laughs> Ebenezer's beginning <clears throat> to experience ego death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fall Ebenezer, off your stool. Stay with us. <laughs> collapse onto the floor, and they get a, a shot of you in red, um, taking like damage. Here, Wh drink this coffee. <laughs> Careful, it has tree nuts in it. <laughs> <laughs> but the milk will help soothe your tongue. He is. Uh, all you see is the movement of his eye. His face does not move. <laughs> 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 in, in, a, in a hushed, uh, slow motion, he hears, You know, actually, that's just a myth. Drinking milk isn't gonna help him as Xanar continues to fucking condescend and be the worst team member. <clears throat> um, he will just kind of look up. And yeah. And he'll be, God, what happens? Uh, Ebenezer is debilitated, uh, Kieran. You're gonna have to... Uh, feed him the milk yourself if you want to get him out of this scrape. And that's 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 when you notice uh, standing from the table, a position he's never been seen in before, Sean Evans with his greasy spit-stained fingers hung at his sides, perfectly uh, gracing the bottom of his blazer, which was tailor-made but is worn over a fucking sweatshirt. <laughs> he says, Unfortunately... 
you've revealed to me over the course of this interview your very weakness, and I'm going to exploit that now. And he's going to start casually walking over towards Ebenezer intent on uh, removing his obelisk. Oh, no. Oh. <clears throat> what do you guys I do? Take, Help! Take out my laser whip! Laser whip him! Yeah! Oh. He Which... also takes out a laser whip. <laughs> yeah! Well, I'm going to have yeah. to join you on this one. And he takes out oh. his own laser whip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he takes I out hate a... snakes. <laughs> nice. What? You'd get that if you understood uh, the, anything about the movies. Kieran O. O. Flanagan, you. <laughs> Kieran McFedrity O. Flanagan. You notably don't care for snakes, and yet you carry around a whip. What makes the difference in your mind between a snake like whip and a whip like snake? You have to act impressed with the question. Yeah, that he, that like, he that's, that. that's a good question. Do not let mind. him get into your mind. Kieran looks down at the whip in his hand. <laughs> and avoids the whites of his eyes briefly <laughs> on this place. No! And uh, he'll go to whip it. Uh, a brief whip mirage it. fades in of it being a snake hissing back up at you. <laughs> no! No! All right, make a lasers roll. Uh, at one or two. Uh. Let's say one. All right, where did my roll go? Here it is. Damn. Oh. Uh -oh. oh no. Play the play the sound effect. Which one? The lightning. <laughs> Um, Play the sound effect, huh? <laughs> you get the hottest hot sauce squirted in your eyes, or rather the last hot sauce. It's not actually the hottest. Obviously, the bomb is poison yeah. they yep. put into their veins. At, so Sean is shaking the the bottle of the yeah. last dab. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but it's tradition around here. I don't know if you know this, but it's tradition around here to do a last dab with the final hot sauce, which is not actually the hottest hot sauce. And I'm going to do it now into your eye. And he squirts it into your eye, putting oh. you on the floor. <laughs> oh. It appears with a few simple moves, I've managed to defeat uh, the entire captainship of your crew. The last to deal with is our special guest today, Xanar. Uh, Xanar is already seated across the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you seek not to challenge me on the merits of your combat, but in a hot sauce wing competition. I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that up. I. He looks at his feet. He Sean, looks. I have a question for you. Wait. Oh. <laughs> what? <clears throat> He's born in the born in the Chicago suburb. Actually, he'll do Captain voice. Born in the Chicago suburb of Evanston. I think you should just do and... Sean Evans' voice instead of whatever voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this should be a Xanar's thing. They just take on different voices. Born in the Chicago suburbs of Evanston and graduating at Crystal Lake Central High School, uh, you were once referred to by a, by a professor as being so glib you ought to be a weatherman. So what do you feel like is the difference between a good meteorologist and a great meteorologist? Wow, how did you, how did you know that? I mean... Uh, um, well, I, we're really not here to, you've really honed your interview skills. How do you co-opt piloting a ship with asking such insightful questions about your guests? Do you find you know, that, that's... <laughs> he gets cut off. <laughs> you know, that's a very good question. Doing on-screen interviews with celebrities such as 2 Chains and Steph Curry, I have to ask, how do you get in the mindset of differentiating between musician and athlete? You know, that's a really great question. And the one I plan to... Ah! He's gonna... He sprints over and he goes to grab the laser whip. Um, Xanar. Uh, God, which of these... 
make a feelings roll, I guess. To uh, psychologically intimidate Sean Evans at his own game. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Nice. Um you'll you'll defeat him with this action, so what do you what do you do? As he whips um, the laser toward you. As he lips as he whips the laser towards me, uh I'm going to uh sort of pivot and uh hold up uh I'm gonna do the one thing that Sean Evans never could. Uh, I'm going to pivot, resulting in him laser whipping the top off of all nine bottles of hot sauce. <laughs> in which case, without breaking eye contact, I will stand up, put a dab of each one on a single wing, <laughs> and take a bite. You can't do that! Um, and then uh, Sean Evans, having overswung, realizes how unwieldy a laser whip would have been, so it swings around, bisects him in half, Darth Maul style. <laughs> and also cuts a giant hole in the floor, which he falls into, Darth Maul style. His fucking blazer he wears over a sweatshirt comes flying off of him, having lost its anchor. And lands at your feet. Also, the fact that it's a it's a laser whip cuts you know this waffle material floor open and plummets him into it. Yeah, it's like it's sinking into the ground right now. Yeah, and he's gone. Wow! Holy cow! That was incredible. How'd you do that? Oh. Uh, um. <laughs> still trying to get it out of my like I'm refusing to touch my eyes but it's still in my eyes you're, you're gonna feel a cool wetness on your face as Ebenezer licks the hot sauce from your eyes no <laughs> um Xanar will turn to say something cool and all that will happen is uh, foam and bile will spill <laughs> forward from their mouth as eight out of the nine sauces contained tree nuts they'll <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. You have passed the challenge, Ebenezer, by licking that hot sauce off of your captain's face. You <laughs> are now, you have completed the challenge by consuming the last hot sauce. I proclaim you the captain. <laughs> um, yeah, Ebenezer will uh, just kind of bark and jump on his two legs. It's the happiest yeah. you've seen him. Xanar, that was a pretty boss move. I, you know, the more I get to know you, I kind of regret killing your mom like that. So kind of me brought her into the bridge. His mom's not very nice anyway. You don't think my mom is nice? He's well, let's take not. a look at the facts. She uh, <laughs> sold you for a loaf of bread when you were five, and then you made your way back, and she pretended that that didn't happen. That's not and, how I remember it. And then she sold you once more for another loaf of bread. That is, it was probably good bread. And she wasn't even in need. She just wanted the bread. He's just he's <laughs> wincing like the my my favorite fucking reaction ever is uh, the Glenn Tennis, the director from the Tim and Eric uh, awesome show that did. Uh, uh, I have to fucking find the Crystal Ships guy. Just, just the worst, the worst wincing face. Sean Evans went to Crystal Lake High School. Uh, apparently, according to uh, Wikipedia, I was trying to find college, but I couldn't read that fast because I, I knew that that was actually a thing—the weatherman thing. Honestly, great fucking job on that. That was really good off the fucking uh, dome. I, well, not the dome, but just those improv very quickly. It's like thirty minutes yeah. from me, Crystal Lake. Yeah, yeah. no, I, you guys are neighbors, apparently. Yeah, hmm. we know him. Yeah, he'll be at the wedding tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking malort. Drinking it was off. seasonal spiced Italian. That's how she justified it. <laughs> it was, yeah, I mean, I guess that kind of justifies it. It's pretty good bread. <laughs> but not a pretty good mother. Are right, you guys want this last challenge or what? Yeah, just give us the last challenge. All right. Then, through here. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> a, uh... <laughs> this, is, this is the fucking face. 
It fucking gets me every single goddamn time. You're a waste. <laughs> well, it's also fact. Just that fucking wit. Oh god, I didn't realize. At the, the very end. There. Yeah, it's that. Uh, apparently the the fucking whole clip I can't find right now, but it's just it's a lot of him making that just progressively wincing harder as this guy antagonizes him on the phone. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. I like I did like the crop of a waste. <laughs> uh, two doors open to uh, the next chamber. Oh no! Oh. I'm going go on, to, uh... go on through the door to the next chamber. Um, kind of breathing through his nose, Ebenezer's going to try to get a, a sniff on where they should be heading. No, roll 1d2. <laughs> I will, if you want me to. All right. All right. All right, here we go. Call it in the air. Uh, I'm going to call what is left to his right. I'm calling a two. We're going to go right, boys. Yep. Nice. All right, go on. It's, it's, it's real. Did <laughs> you bump your nose on a fake door that was just painted on like Looney Tunes and you can see it, tell the other door is three-dimensional and real? <laughs> Did you just skinnamarink me? Skinnamarinked you? <laughs> God damn it. All right, the, other, the other one's real though. Okay. I walk towards it. You go in. Okay. I was expecting another fake door. <laughs> There's a fake door behind a real door. Yeah. Uh, the real it's, a good, it's a good break. Yeah, sounds All good. Right. Uh, what is it? We rejoin you in the aftermath of the third challenge, which was a cooking challenge. Covered in blood. Uh, Xanar has a third EpiPen in them. But you stand <laughs> successful. Wow, that was fucking incredible, guys. I can't believe you beat Gordon Ramsay's clone at this. I can't believe the challenge was pesto. Yeah. I, we didn't really... We've changed stuff since, but these are really old, uh... These are really old challenges that weren't as considerate of uh, otherwise able people. This is body voice side. Your sound just changed. You don't oh, remember? Yeah. It was a whole part of the challenge. Oh. Remember he ascended? No, I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I just messed up. That's we'll see to it, it doesn't happen again. It's a guy from later. It's gonna come up. Because my <laughs> sun is setting. You've completed the challenge. And it's irrelevant. You've no. earned my respect. That is irrelevant. Now that Billy has returned to us. Hi. This no. is a good thing. I'm so you happy. Son of a bitch, you're back. I'm so happy to be with you guys again. Who wants it's to good play? to have you, Billy. Who wants to play Yahtzee? <laughs> Clap him on the I back. Don't, I don't think Yahtzee's a very good idea. <laughs> Not after last time, Billy. Ah, uh, sure. But like, once you're done with this, we'll play some more Yahtzee. What's the next challenge? <laughs> Yahtzee. Yahtzee. I think we, you, I think that was the last challenge. What do you mean? What's the next challenge, idiot? It's mind, body, and soul. You completed. You proved. That you have the mind, proves that you have the body, and cooking, the art of the soul, proves that you have the soul. You are deserving of the all queen Aussie woman deuses. Hello Kitty thigh highs. Take us to him. Can do. And then a hatch opens in the ceiling that just drops them down. They're kind of, <gasps> they're kind of crusty. Oh, oh. Come covered, on. covered in maple syrup. I mean, okay, yeah, good. it is maple syrup. What we'd like to think of maple. <laughs> yeah, I really the, want the that to be true. Oh, I'm just gonna 
kind of like frozen in animation after they hit the ground. <laughs> a shovel falls in afterwards so you can get them off. <laughs> the fucking floor they landed on. Billy, a butane torch. Pick those up. Okay. I'm oh. gonna carry him back to the ship. It's heavy. <laughs> If you knew anything about week. women's lingerie, you'd know they're heavy. Oh, is gosh. That the, is that the defining feature of women's uh, undergarments? <laughs> I don't know. In the future, I guess. In the future. <laughs> yeah, interesting. <clears throat> All right, well, let's head back. But I got to say, guys, I got concerns. Your <laughs> research indicated that we could... This could power the, the power to control the universe to whoever contains all the garments, and you just want to give those over to Sallow Jennifer? Right, we were talking about that in the very beginning. But we're here now at the crossroads, and I don't remember who is the captain at this point after the cooking challenge. Listen, I'm the captain, <laughs> and what I say goes. We give them to Sallow Jennifer, so she and I can spend a romantic evening in our chambers. And then we'll take him back. I feel like once she gets them, it's all over. No, listen. She owes me. Do you really think she's going to hold to that? You advocate for mutiny. I'm getting really close. To Billy? Yeah, <laughs> very close. Well, jeez, Ebenezer. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean it like that. I just think, like, I don't know how much we can trust Jennifer, not Kieran. Captain Kieran. Well, listen. There will be no nothing wrong with trusting her when she's in the throes. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. But, co-captain Kieran, once she can unravel and reconstruct the very fabric of the universe <laughs> as we know it, <laughs> she can make herself no longer thirsty. And that's her one weakness. If she is, If she's not thirsty anymore, the sky's the limit for her. But better for me, in the sack. You should endeavor to um, make yourself useful to her, to Sallow Jennifer. Then you will mm -hmm. earn her grace. I guarantee that I'm already going to be useful to her. Don't well, you worry, Ebenezer. Well, I think, and there's the worst <laughs> sound you can imagine, as maple syrup is displaced as <laughs> in our pulse, one of the thigh highs over their boots. Nope. <laughs> And then let's go with what should be an elastic snap, but it's very, very slow from when they let go of the It's like stocking. a balloon that's had glue on it, you know? It's, uh... Uh, I think I'm already wearing the thigh highs. Hey. Uh. Kieran. There's a cool new super nut-filled uh, coffee cup flavor over in the other room. Why don't you... Grew everyone up a cup to think over agreeing with you. I think that's a good celebratory idea. Yeah. I'll go. Kieran leaves the room into... <laughs> the camera cuts in there and it is an extremely like normal office looking like break room environment compared to this, this uh, waffle hut. <laughs> Where's the coffee? Oh, uh, you see a machine. It's right over there. Okay. Uh, I uh, pop open the Keurig cup and uh, start rifling around the flavors. The oops all nuts. Ah, uh, oops all nuts. Hey, so I think you guys should probably mutiny. I'm kind of supposed to be an impartial party, but I did serve the All Queen, and I think probably she wouldn't want this to go to an evil mercenary criminal. You three. Even me? Yes, of course you, Billy. Oh, okay. Oh, so th wait, they're talking to us. Yes. Uh, us yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The Sorry. people who are three and not it's just not one Mac. Me. Got yeah. you. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's the Keurig machine ramping up. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then we can run away to, to see Watanejo like we always said we were going to. <laughs> yeah, Watanejo. I respect one thing. Power. If you're, if you're a 
grab for power fails here, and now I will have nothing. What promises can you make, Xanar? Uh, we can go to the park. Good, good. Go to the park. He'll say, getting up, he'll see his whale, and his tail start to wag a little bit. He's kind of like a nubbin. He's kind of wagging. You want to go to the park? You want to go to the park? What else? What else? Play with uh, some dogs? Yeah, maybe there'll be other dogs there. Other dogs at the dog park. Yeah, at the dog park. That's where Incomprehensible. <laughs> Yeah, you'll uh, see he's like full. He's fucking riled up right now. Yeah, yeah, dogs. Dogs at the dog park. Fuck, that's incredible. He's inclining his head 45 degrees in one direction and then the other. <laughs> <laughs> I will assist in your mutiny. All right, then it's settled. We'll pull the rug out from under Captain O'Sullivan. Yeah, bite through his jugular when he walks out of the room. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> maybe we could we could lock him in like a closet. What's up with that? What's up with that, Xanar? What you just said? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Why he's coming? He's coming! All right, get out, everyone hide. <laughs> All right, so I only have two hands, so I was only able to bring two cups at a time, but I've got four on the way. <laughs> Even for you, Ebenezer, because you've been such a good boy. I'm always a good boy. Don't patronize me. Feed for the temptation. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, we weren't talking about anything in here. You guys can get out now. Yeah, but first, weren't you going to show us the super secret exit down that hatch in the middle of the room there, disembodied voice? The one that doesn't lead to a pit of snakes? <laughs> No? What are you talking about? It, the, ha the hatch right there, the one that... And uh, Zaynard's gonna make, a, make an attempt to just push you into the open hatch. <laughs> that is full of snakes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, you, you, you can already hear them. Xanar, oh, yeah. Zaynard, make a, uh, a lasers roll. Alright. Here we go. I don't think I've succeeded on a laser's roll once. Hey! You did there. Is this a contest, or do we nope. just... All right. Not lasers and feelings. <laughs> um, yeah, it's whoever, it's whoever takes action, and uh, Xanar took the action. They push <laughs> Kieran with his hands full of coffee into the pit. Um, I want to, as I'm falling... Uh, and, we're, oh, and the coffee's spelling out of my hands. I grab my whip and I try to whip Kieran or Xanar's legs to pull oh. him down with me. Oh, oh shit. Interesting. You son of a bitch. I want to try and grab uh, Xanar so he's up, stays up here. I'm trying to latch onto him to give him assistance. Um, yeah, so, well, similar to last time, I'm going to uh, have have uh Kieran roll a uh, lasers roll uh the one or a two uh using your whip I'll give you a a uh, expertise oh, oh god oops I backed out of the room number the two I, yeah I did get a uh two Ooh, a, a, laser laser feeling. a laser's feelings roll <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so you get a mixed success, but a, uh, laser feelings. The, do you only have the one whip? Yeah. All right, Xanar, <laughs> a laser whip wraps around you. It is like, it is like having your hand pressed to a flaming <laughs> hot pipe. And it is quickly trying to burn through, um, as it yanks you to the edge uh, I guess the mixed success is due to Kane's input here, as uh, Ebenezer is keeping <clears throat> you from falling too far in and having to like grab a ledge or anything. Uh, Kieran, do you want to ask me any question? Yeah. Will Will she sleep with me after she 
She'll do all sorts of things to you, but only after she rewrites the rules of the universe to quench your thirst. And uh, honestly, to be clear, does a bunch of fucked up stuff. Uh-oh. All right. Anyway, we're falling. We're falling into the pit of snakes. <laughs> oh, not quite. You're latched on to uh, Xanar in no. the most painful way imaginable <laughs> yeah. as you dangle above a pit of snakes. <laughs> You're currently burning through Xanar's golden gauntlets. <laughs> Uh, which is a, a biomechanical suit, so they feel it like it's their actual. <laughs> Why would you do this? It have to be that <laughs> way. The worst way to engineer a suit. Their nerves are completely uh, tied into it as they scream. Um, this is too heroic. This is a fucked up situation. <laughs> uh, so. <clears throat> Kieran, you dangle from Xanar, who dangles from Ebenezer, who Billy is just knelt down, pat, rubbing Ebenezer's side, because Billy really feels like petting a dog right now. Because <laughs> humans are always doing it at inappropriate times that dogs don't really care for, but tolerate. Mm-hmm. Xanar, what is the meaning of this? Oh, this didn't go well. You can't be trusted! You're... Clouded by your horniness. And you're clouded by a sense of entitlement. Um, I want to start rubbing my arm uh, very fast, friction-wise, through the laser to saw through my own arm. <laughs> and oh drop god. here into the snakes. Oh my god. Um... You mean your leg? Yeah, like. Uh, <clears throat> oh, but you're wearing the pants. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, I think that that's fair. That would prevent that from happening. Oh shit! No, that's right. I have the thigh yeah. on. Um, that's true. The reason you're not going to be crippled is the might of the thigh highs resists uh, <laughs> this laser whip. All right. Um. Maple syrup is sticky. I was going to say try to have the maple syrup run off and make his hand slip off the whip. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I guess emboldened by the power of the thigh highs, I'm going to try to just uh, uh, kick him free. Uh... I guess keeping the keeping the laser whip attached to the thigh highs, uh, just doing some very uh, very nice looking in thigh high socks kicks to try to send him plummeting into the snakes. All right, make a lasers roll. All right. Yeah. You. <laughs> oh, and that's that's actually a uh, laser feelings. Uh, no. No, it's not. My number is three. three. I'm so dyslexic. I keep seeing your number is three and thinking it's a laser feelings. It's a two. It's not. It's not. It's not. Um, man. You got a success though, still. Yeah. yeah. This seems like a really simple system. I don't know why this is difficult for this, this this program. <laughs> yeah. I see the three in my fucking like snail brain every single time. It's like I got it. Um. Yeah, Kieran, you're struggling, and then just a <laughs> their their boot. <laughs> plops into your face and you lose your grip uh, on on your laser whip and start descending toward a pit of snakes. Ah! <laughs> you land in a pit of snakes. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate snakes! <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the line right. <laughs> It's the second most iconic line in cinema. Why did it have to be snakes? Damn these snakes! You can see that the snakes have tiny weapons that are also snakes. Whoa! Little snake daggers. Um. So yeah, with with Xanar freed, what do uh, the mutineers do? <laughs> uh, we've got to get back to the ship. That's, that's where we left the other five, apparently unguarded. <laughs> also invisible, I guess, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and invisible. <laughs> We've got to find the invisible ship and get the hell out of here. 
leave that, that to me. But be careful. That garment is useless without the other five accoutrements. No, but once I have them, I can rewrite history. Why are you guys still here talking? <laughs> right, let's go. Onwards. Uh, you all rush out with Billy looking mournfully down at Kieran, who then leaves. Um, it's really laborious. It's not ergonomically, like, it's not intuitively designed. You have to run all the way back out to the entrance. You don't just get to... You don't just get to leave. You have to walk all the way back out. You see a guy resetting all the uh, cha uh, challenges as we leave. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> deliberately <laughs> doing it. People. <laughs> Checking his watch because he's got to fucking go. We see a group of explorers starting the first challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got to be the chicken. It's got to God, I'm gonna beat a chicken. This has gotta be. Yeah, it makes sense, right? It's not that hard to get. <laughs> Wait for the next one, it's even easier. <laughs> Don't talk to I, them. I bet they're sisters. I bet they're sisters. God damn, these people are smart. Oh, so hard about a few dudes. <laughs> There's another pair of leggings that are just. <laughs> There's a pile of them up there. <laughs> it's just her stash. You don't only have one pair of leggings, are you kidding me? Yeah, how gross do you think that would be? <laughs> um, so you exit, down in the pit, um, uh, Kieran, you realize that these are gardener snakes, and they're just completely harmless. They're gross and wiggly, but basically they're incapable of harming you, and the disembodied voice says, Yeah be pretty unkosher if uh, we had a pit of snakes that just killed anyone who fell into it. <laughs> but it's good for, you know, pictures and stuff. Alternatively, uh, Kieran is stuck, and the mutineers have succeeded, and Kieran is written out of the plot as uh -huh. a new character emerges. Okay. <laughs> okay, hell yeah. Oh, it's so hell, shit. Yeah. hell yeah, do it. Kieran... Unable to uh, do anything but sit in a harmless pit of snakes. Screams as his uh, crew betrays him. For the tenth time. For the tenth time. <laughs> and leaves him on a planet smelling of waffles. Without food. Without well, food. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> He's going to have to eat the snakes. <laughs> Make me a new care sheet. All right. Very cool, Mac. <laughs> what? This, this is the time to do it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good pivot. I, I, had a... like it. I was like, I think this is it. Okay, then I won't do the scene where Billy came down to help you out, and when you asked how he was, didn't you, didn't you go away with the other guys? He would have said that he did a shadow clone jutsu <laughs> to, <laughs> to walk away with them. But it's good to know that that could have happened. Also, I forgive you for killing me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't in this reality. But uh, I guess instead they're real snakes that can kill you, and so they do. <laughs> so the disembodied no. voice goes, "Oh shit! I didn't actually think we were gonna use that thing." <laughs> Seems weird to put that in the room where you could succeed, but you know, whatever. Oh, I thought that was the gardener snake pit. My bad, dude. <laughs> well, I should have googled whether those were deadly or not. <laughs> Wait, is it yellow touching red? You're yellow. <sighs> red touches yellow. You're an okay fellow. Red <laughs> touches black. You're a dead jack. Oops. Or is it the other way? Back on the surface. Um... You make it back to the entrance. Uh, you push the door open, and uh, Sallow Jennifer actually is just not there out here. It's 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 fucking it's bedlam. Uh, bullets are being fired. Phasers are being blasted. Ships are falling from the sky. A white guy is doing a rap about how he comes technically from the streets because suburbs have streets in them. <laughs> and he grew up going to the park a lot. 
I was down and out on the Fifth Avenue. And I, I, and yeah, and uh. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. I'm sure it's gonna get good. And you can still have a fro as long as you're a Jewish person. Okay, I like immediately me and my hair is thrown out. <laughs> His throat's gone. <laughs> He's fucking dead. He's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and you guys continue sprinting past. Um, I'm going to need both of you to make a laser's roll. And uh, depending on the success, we'll see what happens. Or should we have one person roll and then just no, add a you. dice or separate? Okay. Um, could I roll two since this is a, I'm a soldier. I've been in situations like this before. Sure. It's an active battle front field. And I got a feelings. Laser's feelings, feelings but still only one success. All right, well. Uh, no two successes. Uh, oh. <laughs> I may as well do this in, like, not a lasers and feelings room, just like we roll a d6. Like, that literally makes no difference. Yeah, honestly, It's less though. confusing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, alright, two successes. That's lucky that you make up, uh, for Xanar, because you managed <laughs> to evade, avoid a roll in which I would have killed Billy offhand in one action, but, uh... <laughs> oh, no! You managed to bite the butt of his pants like that girl from that sunscreen or whatever. <laughs> oh, you have the banana boat. The the banana yeah. boat. Copper tone. Yeah, Co yeah copper tone. Copper I'm tone. Sorry. Yank him down to keep his head from getting blown off. And Xanar, like three seconds late, goes, Watch out! As the mortar is in mid detonation. <laughs> Your life is now mine. And he means it. Oh, you say that a lot. <laughs> I save you often. Yeah, but I'm not made for combat. I'm IT. <laughs> you will fetch the kibble. <laughs> okay. I mean, we have like a rotation for that. We have a chore wheel. I'm just gonna bite him again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll. All right, I'll do it. Gosh, it's, it's deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is Dude, oh, there it is. Worse. Nice. Worse. <laughs> um. Uh, but you guys are going to have to uh, take a take one of their rovers to get out of there to get that that 120 miles back to the ship. Well, that's good. I'm a driver. That's All good. Right. You're a driver. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Xanar. Make a lasers roll to commandeer a rover. All right. And a prepared uh, uh, expertise one. Yeah. So that's two, right? No, it's not three. It's two. Yeah, it's two. 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 Okay. Do as I say. Nice. Damn. <clears throat> Let me see. Two successes. Great. Uh, standard in every campaign. Yep. Oh, always. Always. Um. Jen Jennifer catches uh, your eye from across the field and starts to brighten up and then doesn't count a fucking grotesque redhead among you. It says, <laughs> Hey! Hey! Where is he? Are those the leggings? <laughs> He's always been wearing those. He came in with those. He <laughs> came in with those. <laughs> the deal's off, Jennifer. Get them! All right, we gotta go. And then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, Django uh, sees this. Says, "Holy cow! They're getting away with the leggings. I really think they're getting away with the leggings." So <laughs> <laughs> fucking what's his name from uh, the <laughs> <Chief> Commandos? <laughs> Just fucking repeats himself. The way that they go, I know they got to get the leggings. <laughs> 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 the way they're Have going, me. we're gonna have to stop them. And you, um. Sarah tops them. Another guy comes in. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you tell me what that rhyme meant. I wanna know where I'm out. 
<laughs> when, when we get our, hand, our hands on him, we're gonna have to clap him. Don't say anything about it. He points at a nearby guy. <laughs> And then they do the Beastie Boys walk from intergalactic planetary over to, Hell their, yeah. to their ships. <laughs> Fuck yes. That's how they walk everywhere. <laughs> Never mind, these guys are good now. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> we see all this as Ebenezer's head is uh, stuck out the window. Just his tongue blowing in the wind. Uh, yeah, but you are driving under overhangs through you're, you're like using advantageous hydroplaning off of maple syrup pools to boost your speed and every time they fire down on you you have some cover uh nobody can get their hands on you and um it is not long before you see your ship in the distance or rather a hole where a ship should be oh, no. uh -oh. well you're it's invisible oh right yeah, you we're probably okay. That. Yeah, we're probably fine. But there is a ship there. Uh-oh. A small one-person vessel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? What is that? That's a new person you guys didn't land with. Oh, my God. It's like a motorbike. Looks like a motorbike. On top of it? Oh, no. This song wasn't playing for us. <laughs> <laughs> she looks up. Her black braided hair in the breakfast wind. <laughs> Oh. A sheen of maple syrup. Just sweet honey kissed wind <laughs> gathering through her hair. Oh God, a woman As the with bounty hunter has finally sort of caught hunter. up to you. Oh no. She smirks at the corner of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's. We did zoom out. She's in a completely different location. Her shades come down. And she revs up her dirt bike. That's that bounty hunter who's been pursuing us. Zara <laughs> Nova. Which is fun because I'm from the Nova Nexus. So it's like Chatching PT only knows like one sci fi word. Billy the Butcher. <laughs> oh no. It's time to turn yourself in. Bill. Oh my Say God. Say it ain't so. That was, it was a very bad traffic accident and I regret it greatly. You want it in three galaxies. Grand larceny, tax evasion, murder, manslaughter. Listen, just just go with her, Bill. I can rewrite the universe to change it. <laughs> yeah, but kind of had plans tonight. What were your plans? Doing D and D with my online friends. Zara comes speeding in. Oh shit! Have you ever met him in person? <laughs> No. <laughs> An electric blade. Oh my god. Oh my a god. plasma blade, oh I guess. God. I don't know. What did, what did chat GPT made for? We're such weenies and she has like a real weapon. <laughs> She's a real character. We can't <laughs> yeah. fight this. She has backstory and motivations. She has a fate sheet, too. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Oh no. She's coming in. She's gonna try to slice the wheels off your vehicle. I want to push right. Billy out. Our invisible vehicle. Uh, no, out of your, uh, oh, the, your uh, go-kart. Uh, we have a regular rover. Ro rover, yeah. The rover. All right, roll the lasers. Rover. All right. Uh, one or two? Um, I guess two. A bounty hunter. Yeah, you're trying to get your mark. Oh! Uh-oh. 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 Two uh -oh. successes. Fantastic. Two, that's um, two tires. Sure. And what's your all oh, your numbers four? It's four. So no laser feelings. No laser feelings. Um, you slice it out, and just a a, a couple uh, hundred meters short uh, of of their um, of the ship, they go skidding out, and everybody is thrown from the vehicle. Ooh. Billy lands with. Him. <laughs> he died. <laughs> Your time has come, Billy. Make it easy on yourself. What's your accent? I'm not really sure. <laughs> you two have that in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you say that, and so, suddenly there's stars. <laughs> I have chosen my combatant. I'm going to try and uh, take her out. 
<laughs> try to kill the second Mac character. No! Yes. We have to work together! <laughs> you had kill her. No, I'm just gonna try to disarm you. <laughs> Have a wrist. Alright, Ebenezer's finally fighting three fourths of the way through the session. <laughs> Listen, there hasn't been much fighting to do. <laughs> Except I brought you a real challenge. <laughs> Except when you guys had to fight Sean Evans and you were debilitated by hot wings. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's just canonically true. <laughs> Fucking forgot we fought Sean Evans. <laughs> and he won almost. He, he got two out of three. Yeah, he got two close. out of three. Yeah, that's pretty good on his part. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd like to disarm her. Yeah. What does that look like when you attack? That's a great question. The camera cuts away and then it cuts back and my sword is on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of like that idea. <laughs> That you're well, the, the CGI to do uh, Xanar and, and uh, Ebenezer is really expensive, and we're getting close to the end of the season. Um, Ebenezer walks like a fucking Joe Star, I think. That's just the energy <laughs> he brings. He's very precise. He's waiting for his moment. And uh, by the moment that you blink, it's already passed, and whatever happens has happened. So, uh, What role do you want from me? It's going to be a lasers. All right. How many dice? I think one. All right. Nice. All right, you Five shoot, Zap. Death. The electric knife goes out of her hand and sticks in the... Starts to sink a little bit and, again, just cooks some delicious buttery <laughs> crust. <laughs> it slices straight into the <laughs> waffle. Yeah, it slices a delicious cube out and Billy's mouth waters. You will be paid for your time, bounty hunter. But that time is not now. Don't get oh. in my way. <laughs> Xanar, get to the fucking ship! Yeah, I was gonna say, while well, this is happening, Xanar's gonna try to uh, get on board. Uh, yeah. If uh, nothing happens to stop you, then you get there automatically. Alright. I, uh, I wanna try to use... I've, I've got this silly image I quickly pulled up, and mm -hmm. she's got, like, a metal arm, so I'm gonna try to use, like, a, like a rocket arm to grab him. Okay. It's the MGS-5 metal arm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to grab Xanar or grab... Uh... Xanar! No, sorry, Billy. Yeah. You're yeah. right, Billy. I don't know anything about those pants. They're nice pants, but I don't know them. <laughs> uh, lasers? Uh, yes. Damn. Nice. This character is immediately more successful than Kieran was. Yeah. May he rest in peace. Billy starts trying to waddle away like he's running through like knee high water, but on land. Uh, when he is caught on the back of the neck by your extendo robot hand. Go go gadget. <laughs> extendo arm. You're coming with me. <laughs> oh, Ebenezer, help me. Be a good dog. I have treats. Be a... I have treats. Okay. That's the word. That's the kill treats. phrase. <laughs> you want treats? You, you know that the word treat is an activation phrase that sends Ebenezer into a blood rage. <laughs> uh, Billy's gone flying back, and as the arm reattaches, he is held aloft. Yeah, I mean, I would try to retrieve him if possible, but I don't know if uh, Matt has a chance to leave. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like, could... ultimately, uh, you could do that, and then we could probably have... Uh, the others like start pressuring us to move yeah. toward the ship. That makes sense. <clears throat> uh, good for a roll, Declan. What do you want? You, what are you trying to accomplish? I'd like to uh, free um, Billy from All right. her grasp. Make another lasers roll. All right, I want to bite her at the knuckle. Nice. Nice. It's the sound of rending metal as uh, one of your, uh, your fingers is pried, and uh. Billy falls to the ground. Oof. I'm more of a cat person. <laughs> Every time he lands. <laughs> You'll need all nine of those lives. Um. <laughs> Is that her battle cry? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, at this point, the ground begins to erupt in uh, puffs of smoke, the squibs go off. 
the uh, thirsty, thirsty Jennifer has caught up with you, and uh, Django Wango's remaining uh, mercenary ships are starting to fly overhead and try to blast you. Is that? No, it can't be. It's is, my sister. Is that? Oh no! No, it can't be. It's her sister. I mean mine. Oh no! I mean Jennifer. Me. Ashley. No, that's not my name. What do you mean? It's of not course. anymore. Oh, you, ch oh, you changed your <laughs> yeah. name. Wow. She was, yeah. was she Ashley with an E Y or Ashley with a Y? <laughs> you, you have a third sister. How many fish did you have? <laughs> Two fish. Two fish. No, eight fish. <laughs> yeah, you're just all over the place, aren't you? First, you left your six fish behind with me, and now. <laughs> You're a criminal. It's because of people like you that I started this career. Yeah, and where did you pick up that accent? What are you doing? <laughs> my daddy gave it to me. It's all you for know, my I'm... birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like I'm getting a gift for your birthday. Or, no, wait, let me do that. Today is my birthday because I get to kill two different people who I hate. Or three. I'll leave the dog. Everybody, get down! Jennifer gets down. <laughs> no. All right, never mind. Just... Start but digging a hole. Xanar is already in the ship putting the articles on. Um, as you say, get down, uh, Zara. Make a lasers roll. Was that it? Yep, that was it. Okay, um... You were not knocked down or disoriented as uh, Billy hits you over the back of the neck with a metal bar. You dumb idiot. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm 90% metal. Yeah, but th there's a chance I could have hit the 10%. If you don't want to die right now, you got to stick with me. We got bigger problems. Where's your ship? It's invisible. <laughs> But All it, right, but dog. It's over there. There's, yeah. it, there's an obvious spot we park and it still casts a shadow. <laughs> I uh, I jump on my bike. My bike. <laughs> me bike. bike. Me bike. Get on, he says to Ebenezer. <laughs> yeah, he can't resist a ride. Okay, there's a small you, you carriage for a dog. For Let's go reason. for a ride. Go for a ride. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> those, those, yeah, yep. <laughs> Kill phrase. He's on. <laughs> his, his tongue is immediately hanging out of his his jowls. Hell yeah. Billy hops. We go on. toward the ship. Billy hops on and wraps his arms around Zara and weirdly affectionately rests his head against her back. <laughs> We're going um, to the ship. It uses the Halo One <laughs> tank controls. <laughs> They're inverted controls, so... Oh, fuck. Yeah, Zara, it make, sucks. make a uh, lasers roll. Probably should have had the notice one be a feelings. Hmm. Eh, one or two. One. I'll tell you when it's yeah. more. You're not the driver. I can't be contained! She is the driver. She drives it up, right, rides it right up the ramp. And uh, into a perfectly demarcated spot where the golf cart used to be parked. <laughs> so, um, at that, Billy is able to hop out and start the uh, launch procedures to get this baby off the ground. And uh, as it lifts off, Django and Jennifer are left behind, screaming, No! You can't do this to me! You I was supposed to be moist. <laughs> you can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. <laughs> She's still going. You can't do this to me. Huh. Eventually you can't hear her anymore. One day, Jennifer. One day. You can't do <laughs> this to me. And, uh, you're in space. 
you're, nice. you're well ahead of the rest. Um, Try to sniff out where Xanar is. Let's see what he's up to. Uh, Xanar is, will have gotten how, however many articles of the Queen's garments on as they can in the time. Yes. the uh, Of course, the Queen's garments. The tiara. The contacts. The uh, elbow, whatever you said in the intro. Oh yeah, the uh, the elbow length gloves. Yeah. The backpack. The cargo shorts. And to complete the fit, the Hello Kitty uh, thigh high leggings. It's nice. Beautiful. You are stacked. <laughs> It's our time, Ebenezer. You know that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, uh, Ebenezer will just kind of uh, grin widely. <laughs> then his tongue will fall out. Um, you begin to radiate light as... Uh, Through your nipples. As the power of the universe becomes available to you, Xanar. And in that moment, you feel all of this energy swell up inside of you and then leave you as standing before you is, or floating, rather, is a genie. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Coo, 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 kazoo. It's me, I'm kazoo. I'm the magical genie from inside the All Queen's garments. Uh, Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, the genie. That's right, the magical genie with the power to do anything. Cuckoo kazoo. I'm kazoo the genie. 